Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. Being able to know that we are connecting on so many different ways and knowing that we go through the most craziest situations at times, but just being able to know we can connect to other people and we're all sending out love and you know comforting vibes towards towards each other to get through our daily struggles is greatly appreciated so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough uh please drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction also if you um you feel like the video is very informative to you or it even gives you good vibes you would love to share with the loved one family or friend uh please go ahead and do so especially an empath they're going through some really trying times and need confirmation or validation towards the life path or even soul purpose you know go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you once again for the love and support it's so greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to you know resonate with the content of my video and today my meditation music and it's got me so it's getting me comfortable to the point where I'm getting too comfortable. I have to wake up. Um, it's called prayer meditation music. Talk with God, connect to, to divine source within, and I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Um, blessings in situations we thought was needed but was blocked to guide us towards. Uh, better and that's so true you know there's a lot of times we head towards things that we truly want in life and we can get upset you know a little bit turpeed you know a little bewildered kind of confused on why you know you're wanting this certain thing in your life you know it might better your, you know your finances might help you towards bills that you're trying to pay off or you know help support your family or you're trying to put your children through college you know anything that you're heading towards um and then you are instantly blocked you know it can be really frustrating but it's just like when i will start my situation off and i, I don't like saying redundant but i'm using this prime example because i know a lot of people are you know just recently subscribing to me you know starting my videos off you know it was about me telling my story about me you know being a celebrity's daughter uh that recently had passed um trying to be on that verge of of a journey of finding my biological mom you know that was what i started off as doing and then next thing you know i started finding out this about myself i'm an infj i'm a wiccan um not wiccan but yeah white witch uh wiccan whatever you want to call it uh uh Hayoka, twin flame and indigo all these different things that i was not even aware of well the twin flame indigo thing i already knew about that when i first started but all these other things start adding on towards it that i wasn't even aware of so it's just like you know finding out all these things i finally found my mom and stuff like that but you know she didn't want to connect and i understood i mean it was a hard pill to swallow it was a very upsetting situation but i had to know there was always a reason why it's not meant for us to connect you know i had to put that understanding in my life that you know that certain situation you giving up a child you never know what is instilled in that child's head what was told to her you don't know, or him you know all these different things and i understand you know i don't have hold no ill will toward my towards my mom or anything she's got on with my her life i have siblings um you know and it's a blessing to know who she finally is uh the siblings that i have you know that's truly a blessing um you know i feel like if it was meant for us to you know go through that you know actually meeting and all those things because i always fantasized about that but it was like my world came crashing down when i found out you know she didn't really want to connect that way and i mean it's just like you know everything has a reason for happening where it happens and you know i had to put myself in her shoes i was 16 when i had my daughter as so it's, you know that was the same age she had me you know that was a really tough time for her you know uh her and my dad was supposed to get married but the record deal fell through and that was the only way they could keep me and he didn't get his record deal i think it was with warner brothers the first one um you know like around 19 
was it was like late like 1978 or 1977 but I know I was like probably six or seven months old when he finally got the record deal he was trying so eagerly to have um before so he can be able to keep me but you know things happened the way they happened and it was like a very painful thing that you know my dad had to deal with you know there are certain people that knew about me um he placed certain things in music you know little easter eggs in music that he talked about the situation and it, it's just like I really was guided towards that way and it was just like I got so upset you know because I really wanted to you know have somebody help me uh help me get towards my home not you know because of finances or you know being my dad's will and all those different things but being able to know all the background about my family you know wanting to know things you know where I came from you know as anybody who's who's been adopted and struggles with that identity you always want to know you know your background history um things about your family all these different questions you have as being you know adopted child so it's just like when I felt like I was angry you know at times where you know there was people that knew about my situation and I was just so hurt because these people were so called my mom's friends that you know like I said in a couple of videos ago it was my mom's dying declaration you know for my mom to say that you know hey if she didn't meet her family while I was living can you please help her you know because her you know her my ex-husband and his wife don't want her to know these things they're keeping her away you know and then they still kept hush hush about it because they knew how much my dad was worth he knew all the things that he's left behind and you know people got jealous and you know felt like I wasn't entitled to those things and I was really hurt I did cut off communication with them I didn't want to have anything to do with them and it was a painful situation because these people they were like my godparents you know family that I didn't know if they knew for sure so I cut all my family off on both sides my mom's ex-husband as well as her family you know I felt so disconnected and I had to really look at things from a different angle you know because all I was seeing is you know hurt confusion you know trying to understand why would you you know want to keep somebody from their family just because their family is you know celebrity I wasn't <laughs> you know I didn't choose to do that you know I can't help who you know I belong to but when I really can truly see the bigger picture of these things able to be opening my story up towards people of me, me being on a journey is like people who've been with me from a year or so there's a lot of people that have been with me you know from the day one since day one and I you know, I'm truly blessed to still have those you know type I don't want to say fans but family extended family out there that's been with me through all these these dark moments um, through different achievements knowing more about myself as you find out more about yourself as well and seeing that was the bigger picture you know there's times that we are truly aiming towards things that we truly do want in life and it can be upsetting when you know you've worked hard for it and you feel like you deserve those things trust me believe me I know um, that you might be able to you, you've been blocked from it but knowing is guiding you towards something better. You know, when God always tells us to put things down, put certain things down, um, because if you know you prayed for something and you know you're working hard as I don't know what day and night diligently, you know, on this, you know, at times you might struggle with, you know, hurt, pain, healing from abuse, all these different things that have happened in your life that was very tragic. God is asking you to heal, you know, let go, you know, ask for forgiveness for these people as well as yourself you know all these different things that you had to go through because a lot of times you don't realize the things he's stopping us from might would have you know might what might would have messed it up so it's just like when you pray towards things and i tell people all the time don't be upset when you don't get the things that you want you know and i know it can under i know it can be a very overwhelming moment it can be very discouraging it makes you want to give up but you know universe source and the mark gonna allow you to give up because you could just say bump it i'm done i i don't care anymore this and this and that i always tell people if you if this is really important to you and you feel like you can't go a day without thinking about it and it, yeah it gets hard and you want to give up you really think God's going to allow that to happen I mean there are so many times that I wanted life to end for me you know it was a lot of painful situations because I felt like you know it was my fault because I wasn't loved it was my fault because you know I wanted a normal family that actually was there to support me on things you know congratulate me when I did things good and it was just like with mom you know my mom was going through so much depression it was hard for her actually to be 
that humble person that showed uh, any kind of positive advice. You know, my mom really went through a lot when it came to her ex-husband. Um, you know, he didn't show me too many things. I probably can remember twice he said, you know, he was proud of me or whatever. But I had to understand he also went through a very toxic relationship with his parents. You know, it was, he always used to tell me there was nothing he could do to please his his father you know he always said no matter what he did that was he he you know a child tried to get attention for it, like hey i got an a in school so what what you want me to do about it you know i mean he would never really give him you know that positive hey you know i'm proud of you you know i'm gonna take you out to dinner or you know i'm gonna go ahead and get you a toy or something like that he never really got that and so you know i had to even tell him i said how did that make you feel when you went through that and I mean it was hard for him to answer that because he knew he was doing the same thing to me but it was like all the things that I had to go through it was taught me so many valuable lessons being able to open up because you know it, it's like if you've been with me for a while there are certain things that I can talk on and then it will bring me to tears it really does but being able to really see it diving deep really truly seeing it what it was i'm actually showing a gratitude the attitude of gratitude for god blocking me from certain things because you know god doesn't want somebody to sit up here and take credit for the things that you work hard for because you know a lot of times like i said before you know you can work hard for something and somebody intercepts and helps you get that they feel like they're entitled to that i mean even though if you know you had people to help you and like, like i said you know y'all are my love bugs i'm i'm just saying you know when i get towards that way i can say you know hey my extended family helped me get there i mean i did the hard work but it was just me pushing out my information my stories that i went through my experiences on different things that i had to you know let go of i experienced um what happened or whatever have you you know is help guide towards people towards their daily struggles or the things that they're trying to heal from and let go of you know so you have to be grateful at times because you never know the things that you're praying for you know and you god sees that you know a lot of times we feel like the universe and them are not healing it, uh hearing us they're ignoring us they're, we're being punished a lot of times we're punishing ourselves because it's like anybody who's holding Nobody can't really hold you back, even though there might be times people pray against you or whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know, you are that one that has that power to instill the things of your future. If you're not having that certain positive vibe that's going through you, that you are fo so focused, not with the things that are going on around you, because like I said, anything that, I have to tell myself that every day, anything that is not bringing growth to you or not putting a smile on your set face or giving you any high frequency, towards your vibe is negative it's the distraction you don't need those when you're focusing on the things that you're trying to it, uh, head towards and all those different things that you're aiming towards you know uh if it's meant for you it will be for you you know you'll start getting signs you'll start getting indications about things that happen in your life at any time but universe allows you to say forgive yourself forgive the others that's done things to you allow things to let go you know stay focused on what you truly want not what you don't want all these different things because the things you end up playing praying for and when fi finally universe and god say you know what they're ready it's gonna be something 10 times better than what the heck you you sit up here like dang i'm glad they did block me on that i wanted this and this and this and that because it probably wouldn't have really took you that far not like saying that you're the things you were praying for was not important but god had something in store universe source creator had something more in store for you they knew already what you were going to get but they had to be able to guide you there you had to be able to guide yourself have that faith within yourself to know you have to be showing that attitude of gratitude even you know i wake up every morning and i tell god i'm so, what i'm grateful for what i'm trying to achieve you know what i'm glad that didn't happen or what you allowed me to see i i say that each and every day so when you know that you're being blocked towards something just know the universe and God and creator are guiding you towards something way better than you ever expected. So keep pushing. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on the universe. You know, they, there's a lot of times we have to understand that things are working on behind the scenes that we don't know about, that they're putting in play for our life. So allow yourself to know. Don't sit up here and listen to naysayers or anybody discouraging or, you know, uh, negative. Allow yourself to keep applying yourself, being the best person you can be.
if there's anything that you're struggling with whether it's worries fears or concerns give that up to you know the powers that be pray for yourself as well as you know ask god to help you forgive yourself for allowing yourself to keep you know wandering around in that dark place so i hope you were able to uh resonate with the content on video drop me a line and let me know if you have i would live, love to give a post notification out to treasure seasons as well as bryant mitchell um miss mickey morgan much love to you as well uh like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line give me a thumbs up share and, you know, make sure you drop a line so I can go ahead and give you a post notification on my um, next video. Uh, have a well, prosperous, breast, uh, prosperous, blessed week. Sounds much love and light positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And, um... Sit up here and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. If I say that twice, my bad. But anyway, it's much love to you. Peace. Be wild.